Reddit is a social media platform where users can create and join communities, with each community having their own niche. Communities such as r slash askreddit, r slash pics, r slash dogs, and many other communities. However, there are a lot of communities that have garnered a reputation for being extremely grotesque and not safe for work. Today, me and my friend are going to be diving into these subreddits. And as a reminder, please look at these subreddits up at your own risk, as a lot of these contain content not suitable for everyone. And before we begin, any subreddits that display sexual content will not be reviewed. r slash morbid ways to die. This is a subreddit where users post stories about tragic and morbid deaths of a person or multiple people that are usually linked with pictures either before or after the incident. This was the last picture of Samra As Aisala taken by her husband, Hakan Aisala. Samra was who was pregnant by the time at the time she was lured was lured by her husband to the edge of a cliff before he pushed her off. She Holy fell a thousand feet and died with their unborn child. What wow. the hell? That's terrible. What did the comments say? This for a measly two <laughs> 25k wow. life in policy. Horrific. She was seven months pregnant, dude. That's sad. That's terrible. Todd Culhep murdered four employees at the Super Superbike Motorsport in South Carolina after the employees had embarrassed him and refused him to re refund for a motorcycle. 13 years later, he kidnapped 31 year old Kala Brown for keep keeping her chain to a what? What? Over a motorcycle? Is she alive or dead? This is inside of a container, like a cargo container. He looks like a Discord mod, I can't not lie. <laughs> he does look like a Discord moderator. Have you seen that episode from The Amazing World of Gumball? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. what he looks like, bro. In January 2016, 31-year-old Robert Banks was called over to the Lakeland family self to deliver K2, synthetic marijuana. When he arrived, they welcomed him inside and attacked him. They beat him with his with their fist, a metal pipe, tied an extension cord around his neck. Tim. Oh my god! Holy crap! So he was delivering marijuana to their house, and then they brought him inside, and then they beat him to death. They him. Father received eight years for helping them dispose the body. So all of them got life sentences, but the father got uh, eight years for helping them dispose the body. Remember the woman who melted in the couch? Watching this news story and the examiner is describing and showing the autopsy. Oh, and it's on YouTube. Holy crap. I think the bad part is like actually blurred out. So how did they, how did this person melt in the couch though? I wonder. Apparently her own parents let it happen too. Look at the comment below. Like you see your child slowly dying horrifically and you don't step in to help but whatsoever. You call 911 when she's fine, when she finally succumbs and thinks the police and medical professionals will just be like, yep, sorry about that. And they brought someone who would just come get the body and everything would be chill. The faked CPR sounds on the 911 call. The parents just continue to be revealed as bigger and bigger monsters. That's wow. so sad, dude. Oh my god. 72-year-old David Niles had been missing for almost a decade when his car was spotted on Google Maps submerged under the water with his body still inside. Okay. So the car is coming out. So that was the guy that was in the car. That's sad though. Missing for 12 years when his body was finally discovered. Since 2006. Wow. Jeez. He met a friend there but left suddenly on the day he disappeared because he was dealing with a discomfort caused by cancer along with depression. May not be able to ever determine if it was or just a bizarre accident, but they do not suspect foul play. Teenage oh. hairdresser Jenny Mitchell was killed when she lit a cigarette in her car and the chemicals in her equipment bag exploded. Remains a mystery why Jenny Mitchell's light gray mini caught fire, killing her almost instantly. So it's still a mystery. Tony Eels, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, sorry, was crushed to death by his own car at a McDonald's drive thru after he leaned out his window to pick up his credit card that fell while trying to pay for his order. Surveillance video showed that the car rolled forward, colliding into the restaurant, pinning him between the car door and frame. Jeez. Oh. Damn, between the car door and frame. Oh, that would be terrible to go out. Holy crap. That's incredibly sad, but it's such a mistake anyone can make. That's true, because some people forget to put their car in park. The man who ruined the tradition of Halloween trick-or-treating. He looks like Peter Griffin. <laughs> no way, bro. Peter, what are you doing? 
What the fuck? On October 31st, 1974, O'Brien took his two children trick-or-treating in a Pisadana, Texas neighborhood. O'Brien's neighborhood neighbor and his two children accompanied them. After visiting a home where the occupant failed to answer the door, the children grew impatient and ran ahead to the next home while O'Brien stayed behind. He eventually caught up with the group and produced five 21-inch pixie sticks, which he would later claim he was given from the occupant of the house that had not answered the door. At the end of the evening, O'Brien gave each of his neighbor's two children a pixie sticks and one each to Timothy and Elizabeth. Upon returning home, Brian gave the fifth pixie stick to a 10-year-old boy whom he recognized from his church. I'm gonna guess that the pixie stick isn't actually pixie stick and it's like crack or something, like something like a drug. Mm -hmm. Before bed, Timothy asked to eat some of the candy he collected. According to Ronald, he chose the pixie sticks. Timothy had trouble getting the powdered candy out of the straw, so Brian helped him, helped him loosen the powder. After tasting the candy, Timothy complained that it tasted bitter. Brian then gave his son Kool-Aid to wash away the taste. Timothy immediately began to his stomach hurt and went to the bathroom when he began vomiting and convulsing. Brian later claimed he held Timothy while he was vomiting and the child went limp in his arms. Timothy O'Brien died en route to the hospital in less than an hour after consuming the candy. He had like a lot of depth. He had a lot of money in depth. And so they're saying that apparently um, there's a chance that he... And he worked at like this chemical factory. So he might've put chemical factory stuff like poison into the children's pixie stuff to kill them so he could get uh, money because he was in so much debt. And basically for each child death, he got like $20,000. It totaled to approximately $60,000, which is equivalent to $356,000 in 2022. So just enough to get him out of debt, I'm pretty sure. So the dad basically just killed his two sons for some money. That's terrible r slash make me suffer. This subreddit is dedicated to posts that hurt to look at. Although some of them aren't too bad, a lot of others contain a lot of gore and really messed up images. I the aftermath always... of my wife giving birth in the car. Oh my god. Baby and mama are healthy and doing great and yes, that is a poop stain. I'm not, I'm not ready to click on this. That's gonna be terrible. <laughs> oh, where's a poop stain? Is that the poop stain? <laughs> oh, Outdoor cat puke. I don't even want to look at this, man. What is that? <laughs> what the hell? What is that? F what is that? Is that? That's the head of a mouse. Wait, are we sure that's like puke or like a damn kebab? That looks like a shish kebab. It looks like a churro, like a twisted churro. What I found in the toilet after taking a dump. Ooh. Ew. Is that a tapeworm? Bad finger. I'm not ready for this. Oh. oh. Deformed Deep lamb born from born. lab today. This is already worse from the lamb. Ooh. Oh my god! What that is looks like that? A, that looks like a Pokemon. I accidentally ripped my effed up big toe toenail out by rolling over over it with a trash can. I'm not ready for this. Oh! 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 God, how heavy was a trash can? I developed the hematoda after my hysterectomy and came out violently. Oh, what, what is the that? Hell? What is that? Dude, that looks like the damn Carnage symbiote. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that- No is way, that bro. When I were in, guess I'll go to bed. <laughs> Look, this is the worst one. <laughs> oh, I'm having a heart attack. Cut my Cut thumb my on thumb. some sheet metal. This cannot be that. Oh. oh. oh that's better. My oh, uterus. I don't, like this one. I don't like this one. Oh, no. I don't like where this is going. Oh. My best friend got his finger caught in a windmill. Oh, Ooh. No. oh my god. Ooh. God, he ripped it clean off too. R slash 5050. This is a subreddit where, in its name, each post has a 50-50 chance to be either wholesome or something disgusting. R slash 5050, rotten pomegranate or kidney full oh. of kidney stones. <laughs> I like this one. This is like <laughs> Both of them are bad, so what, what would you- <laughs> what do you think it is? I'm praying it's a rotten pomegranate. Me too. Oh! Two photos of a disease that got really bad, really cool wooden sculptures laid out side by side in the snow. This is two photos. Ooh, bad- oh my god, one on the left looks super bloated. Diarrhea uh, in a kiddie uh, pool or failed pig in a blanket from Isaac Y video. It's definitely diarrhea in a kiddie pool. How much you want to bet? Please be Isaac Y. Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> Failed pig in a blanket. Strawberries covered in Nutella. Hand that was cut in half. Oh, this is hand that was cut in half. Oh, I feel it. Strawberries cut. Oh, okay. That's good. Open abdominal cavity 
Uncrustable sandwich in a toaster oven. This has got to be Uncrustable sandwich. Oh, it's not Uncrustable. God, the oh, last time I went here was actually really bad. What happened to it? It turned soft. Horrific <laughs> rock climbing accident. Cozy okay. wool blanket with an intricate pattern. It's definitely the first one. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Why is he calm? And you said it was good, and then I said you jinxed it, and this one was going to be the bad one. It was the bad oh one. Oh my fuck? god. Fuck. Aftermath of skeletal cancer, a Halloween mask. Halloween mask. Ooh. Oh my god, I didn't Ooh. know it could do that much damage. Holy crap. Fat Axel Fat Rose, Axel. a man who shot himself. Both of them are bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got queso. <laughs> and r slash 50 50 before gta 6 r slash nsfl underscore this is one of the darker subreddits where users post actual footage of just really really messed up content neighbor was mowing the lawn and got bit by an unknown spider type in canada Ooh. oh what the fuck unknown spider too yeah oh, elephant tramples his handler to death oh Oh my god! Oh god. That guy's dead. There's no way he lives. This is why I think like circuses where they beat the animals should just like should just not be allowed. Like yeah. I just think that maybe because elephants are usually like super nice. Like I don't know if this guy did anything like really like bad to the elephant. This mm -hmm. is a contact gunshot entrance wound. Since the barrel contact contacts the skin, the gas is released by the fire round, going to the subcutaneous tissue and cause the star-shaped lacceration. Note also the gray-black discoloration from the suit, as well as the faint abrasion ring. What the? Oh! Oh! Man seen eating a human leg from a fatal tr train crash. God, it was so bad. I started stuttering. Holy crap! Ah. Uh. Is he on drugs? No, that is a, that is an actual leg, bro. Look at that. You can see like the toes moving around. No, that guy is definitely on drugs. That is an actual leg. That bro. is an actual leg. What the fuck? Holy crap. He's gonna throw it at someone. That's what. Yeah, he's gonna like. throw that leg at someone. Holy crap. The patient got an argument with the person while they're both drunk. This led to the person taking a machete and swinging it at the patient who stopped the blade with his hand, splitting it in half. Fortunately, the surgeons were able to save it. Oh, oh God! Shark attack, Florida Panhandle. Oh! oh my God! Oh my God! Holy shit! Jesus! Oh, oh my God! Man was injured in the face while fishing with a spear. Oh no! Oh, that looks. Oh. He's definitely blind. He definitely went blind. Oh, there's no doubt about it. How did how did that happen? How is he alive? Yeah, that too. How is he alive? Mother kills her own son with an axe after argument with her daughter witnesses it all. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap. That's just sad. I can never imagine even doing that to like my son in the future. Like that's just sad. I can Im yeah, I can't Im most people can't imagine doing that to anyone, let alone their own children. That's terrible. Holy crap. Doing that to your own child over an argument too. Like that's just sad. R slash medical gore. This is also a pretty dark subreddit about pictures of patients after a horrific accident. A patient swallowed a cell phone then went to the hospital 12 days later. 12 days? 12 days? Why? 12 days? Oh, I see. Oh, Why would yeah. you swallow a cell phone? That's why would so you dumb. do that would in the you, first place? Why would you wait 12 days though? Yeah, and wait. I mean, why would you do that in the first place? Let's be real. And they had a Nokia. That's a Nokia phone, I think. That thing was not dissolving in their body. They I'll wanted to see how durable the Nokia was by eating it. Update you've all been waiting for. Oh, good for him. Ooh. Oh. A skier collided with a tree and died. An autopsy Jeez. COD was in sanguination from the ruptured renal, renal artery in the pancreas. Ooh. Oh. I don't know what I'm look. What am I looking at? I think that's the pancreas. This reminds or, me of like a kill came out of doom. Forty-five kilogram tumor. Is that, is that the whole tumor? Or is that someone's? Is that someone's butt crack? That is the whole tumor. That is someone's stomach. No way. That's a whole tumor. Giving birth to Queso out right here. <laughs> Chainsaw wound. Ooh. A man fell and was impaled through the perineum on rebar. He pulled a rebar out himself and pulled his bowels out with it. They used Ooh. a gastric balloon tampionade to stop the bleeding. Oh! 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 I, uh, 
I'm not even gonna look. Uh, let's go to the next one. R slash Casebook. One of the more obscure subreddits, but still incredibly dark. This subreddit features posts with images relating to the deaths of people. Woman stabbed in her abdomen. No, I'm not gonna like this one. Mm. Oh. Murdered, Murdered sex worker. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Those... There's so many stab wounds. Jesus. And they're huge too. What was it? This was the knife that they used. Oh my god. They would god. have had to go like all the way in with the knife too. Three homicidal cutthroat cases where the perpetrator either used knives or a sword. We're going medieval um, here. What the heck? Oh! Um, oh my god! Next, bro. I'm not good with next. That shit. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Rifle wound to the thigh. This cannot be that bad. Oh! It's bad. Dude, it looks like someone shot them with like a slug. Dude, it looks like someone opened that up, dude. Yeah, Jesus. Man shoots himself in the foot. What did his foot do? What the hell? His tendons are still there. Oh my god. Oh, I do not want to look at this Ooh. shit, bro. Oh my god. A woman who sustained a single gunshot injury. This is going to be bad. Ooh. She lived? What is happening to these people? The caliber must be like really like large. Holy crap. An 18-year-old male motorcycle driver is decapitated by a roadblock chain. Oh my god! Dude, the saddest part is that he was only 18. Poor guy, dude. That's the uh, first deep dive through the dark sides of Reddit. Like, like, and some of the stuff was actually, like, goofy, too. Like, this person, like, swallowed a whole cell phone. Like, what'd you that expect from just to digest it? And waited 12 days to go to the hospital. And waited 12 so days. All right. I appreciate you hopping on a call with me and looking at this kind of stuff, Ion. Anytime.